we have the grand final of Trackmania Grand League coming up. It is a classic at this point. BDS versus Solary. That is Afi Arel versus Carl Jr. and it's Pac. It's gonna be an amazing match. Like, absolutely crazy. All these players have definitely showed that they belong in the grand finals and it was so close between bds and solary last time it can only be an amazing match once yeah. again real quick is it the exact same um so we can go through this one more time because the grand final people are probably coming in they have maybe not watched anything up until now that's fine they play best of sevens okay and because bds come from upper bracket they already lead by one best of seven they basically get a yep. free best of seven win which is incredibly beneficial so solary are gonna have to win one best of seven to tie up the score line yes if they do then we go to a decider best of seven i believe you can see a little bit of the warm-up and a little bit of the tension as they're just doing some practice runs we will have the veto coming through in a second and picks and bans are becoming very important we can tell like if you get a favorable veto and you get the opponent team on a map they're not that comfortable on or your specialty that's just almost a free map point i i think if you're bds here because you have top seed i think you leave gyroscope open if you are ready for it okay if you're ready to play it you leave it open and you just say solary you're gonna have to ban this one i know I you don't want to but you're gonna have to if you don't want to play it it's just so difficult because um make both, them waste their ban both right? the teams will drive great paces no matter the map right oh sure so you need to find I, I think in my mind the the game plan is to recognize which maps you've done the best on throughout the season and then perfecting let's those. see right now solary are banning uh first is that correct i don't think it is um but they did they, ban first they did ban first and they did ban gyroscope freestyle second man. okay no that makes sense top seed gets first choice yes so freestyle the ban interesting and now bds first picks uh, agility dash even though they just saw that uh i mean yeah to to be fair agility dash we actually had g1 b uh, first on throughout the map all the way to the ending so that's my that might be why slow down the answer and back and forth for arel and offy bds and slippy slides so solar get their two good maps that they've yeah. won twice on slow down and slippery slides slippy slides and now we we'll see the fifth. What are Afi and Aurel gonna go for? Reps. Okay. Where Afi can be very consistent. And now the final choice for Solary: Arrow Faith. Pipes and Flip of Faith the Random. Yeah. So Arrow Pipes is a great choice, also because Carl Jr. and Pack did so well just here in the in the previous match on um, Arrow Pipes. Flip of Faith, I feel like can go both ways though. So to me, the crazy thing here is you ban freestyle effectively saying we think we have a higher probability of beating solar on slowdown and slippy slides they must feel confident in those two maps like that's probably what they prepared for i guess i guess yeah um well the track record is that solar will will win on those few maps but once again the power of choice the power of getting the first map pick is pretty important it also decides the momentum of the game and once again if you guys didn't hear before uh, bds does have an advantage just because they came in on first seed yeah, already a best of seven to their tally. Yes. Only needs to win. If they win this best of seven, they are the champions. It's over. Which is, um, that's a lot of pressure already on Call Jr. and Pack. But they, I mean, they are ready. They, they warmed up in the last game. They did an incredible performance. And now we're going to jump into the first match of the grand finals. Team BDS versus Solary. Starting with Agility Dash. Solary already pretty warmed up on this. They played two times uh, Agility Dash earlier in the loser bracket final against G1 and they won twice. Also driving quite close to the world record. The world record is a 128-28 set by the man we're spectating, Afi. But Pack and Carl both got point fours. So we saw Agility Dash got played last, uh, last match here. And Carl Jr. and Pack were actually behind a lot of the time, uh, all the way towards the identity. So that might be what Afi and Orel picked up on, and that's why they picked the map. But here, once again, we're going to see the players go for such a low line there. Pack and Afi both going for it. Just beautiful um, decrease of airtime there. And 
Honestly, Solary looking to be on top. Afi is fighting with them though, but a great start from mm. Team Solary. The low oh. air time, and he instantly air breaks to secure the landing. That's not fast. The fastest is to land flatter there, but he just doesn't want to over tilt the cars. So yeah. Instant air break. You can see that cost a little bit of time, but they still have so much track left to go. This is the longest track in the map pack. And we're going just into the middle of it, right here. The speed slide, it is looking red though. Carl and Pack with great starts, good speed across into the loop. And they will be about two tons up on Aurel. Yeah, so. it's dangerous to have Solary be ahead already because they did the identity so well earlier today. So if they're in the lead by even 0.1.2, that means that it's a dangerous section here coming up. Aurel's going to try to see if he can overtake here on the Knives Edge Ooh, little section speed. here. He does have great speed, but Carl Jr. and Pack getting the low air time is very difficult to gain extra time there against those people. And now into the identity is closer. Aurel. He has to push it. He has to push as hard as he possibly can. There's oh. nothing to lose he unfortunately clips and that looks like it's gonna be an ace an early ace for team solary dominating performance there 128.6 by both of them really strong pace to drive consistently it is and now uh, solary gets three points and an ace on your opponent's map pick on the first round that's a great uh, statement to set and indeed a great momentum to start uh, to, to get rolling here from the very beginning of the match starts building early but that was also a round where Uffy had like at least one awkward line that i don't think he wanted to go for we can see what he does on this jump again now has the best start does he opt for the air break again instantly Looks like he actually wants... Oh, that's a lot of airtime. Well, he wants the back wheel touch, actually, because that's the lowest jump you could get. So in some way, it's about equal, I think, to normal airtime. And that does work out. Arel going wide, and suddenly the roles are reversed. It is Arel and Offy, BDS, with the best start before the full speed part. Arel going wide, but look at the oh, speed that's he's going to build. A good this is a good line. speed slide. 640 into the loop, and he's going to come rocketing back up towards first. Pack still has it under control. Carl about two tons behind. That's a familiar sight with the playstyle of Solary. Pack risking and Carl just lying in wait, but all three players dead even on yeah, that checkpoint this, split. To the thousands. The zeros are on the leaderboard. Was that three players yep. tied to the thousands? Yeah, That's that so was. crazy. That means that, you know, it cannot get any tighter than this. Pack is in the lead. Carl Jr. has sneaked up on third place. If he overtakes Afi now, that's going to be another ace. A back-to-back -back ace could be detrimental for the wide. team. But we have a huge mistake coming in from Pack. He's going to jump down to fourth. And Carl Jr. now wants to maintain that second place to make sure that Team BDS doesn't reverse ace. Ooh. And he makes sure he has it down. That's going to be a round victory for Team BDS. But Solary still gets a point of their own. And what a winning time. I want you to know there's only one player other than Afi himself who has beaten that time in a match, and that is Pack. Like, you have the fastest player on the server. Yep. 128.3 there is really sick. I mean, both the teams are driving just unfathomable paces, uh, just awe-inspiring to watch these teams drive a map to perfection like this. They've been practicing this map for over a month, right? Hundreds of hours have been spent perfecting every single one of these turns. Afi going so, Ooh. so sideways. That's going to cost him an acceleration penalty and hitting the side of your car there on the ground is going to slow you down tremendously as well. So now call Junior and Pack on a beneficial position. Uh, a favorable position, that is. And Aurel will try to see if he can deny the ace, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult from this spot. He is there, though, with them through the loop. And the pace is a little bit slower than usual. We usually see them about two, three times ahead of this. So there is opportunities here to gain time. Solaria are trying to bring the pace a bit down, actually, and just save from this. They know they're most likely going to win some points. But Arel had this uphill really good. He starts wide and then goes wide again to just make sure I get a lot of speed on this. It makes the transitions easier. Sets him up well for this downhill where he's going to zoom across the grass and be faster towards the identity jumps. This is all setting up for what might be a snipe away from Solar. He gets through past both of them, barely across the edges, getting a little bit more speed, but here comes oh! Pack! And Pack takes it by a hundredth, giving Solar a win. But Aurel really but, tried yeah, what he could a there. valiant effort coming in from Aurel. That was just... Uh, 
unparalleled speed in the identity, overtaking both Carl Jr. and Pack in the middle of that identity. That was super fast. Must have been some speed slides in the middle of that as well. Unfortunately, couldn't hold on to the lead for the entirety of the duration of the um, of the identity, but still valiant effort indeed. And Team BDS now three points behind. Solary are looking very good at the moment. They're looking great. They have had some really good runs. It's just that one identity there. That, I mean, if they get that a little bit better, both of them, that's an ace, and you know, then they're at uh, seven points instead of six, so they're getting closer. Aurel is full sideways. Again, that's the second time in a row Aurel has done that now. He is, he's looking to make a little bit of a faster jump there by getting very sideways and then touching the wheel on the on the hump of the, of the map, but unfortunately has kind of backfired on him twice in a row. Now Afi is tasked with once again making sure that Solary doesn't um, doesn't ace. But I think this map is like, if you think about, you know, all maps like, okay, slow down, that's a Solary map, right? Uh, Slippy Slides, that's also a Solary map traditionally. Agility Dash is like middle ground. Like this is the one you kind of want to win. This is the one that could decide it, because you have your stronghold maps that you think you can beat the other teams on regardless, but this could go either way. And right now it's flipping heavy in Solary's favor. They have another chance at an ace, and BDS are in dire needs of Afi, clutching this out on the jumps. He gets the best one out of the three players on the start of it, but Pack is coming back with more speed. He sniped around last time, but Afi stays ahead. Oh, Pack and missed the finish. He hit the finish pole, had to respawn, fell off the map. And now that's that makes it like, uh, I mean, Team BDS gets two points instead of one. It's not the end of the world, but definitely an unfortunate situation. And Uffy just dropped a banger time once again. That is, you know, only package driven faster. Mudda, Glenn, Elcon, Carl Jr. They have not set a faster time than that in all the matches played over the last two months. He is driving like a menace right now. And if Arel doesn't fail this jump in the start, they could potentially reclaim the lead of the map. Yeah, that's the thing. Like right now, Solary has capitalized on the fact that Aurel has made multiple mistakes during this map. And he is, yeah, definitely saving a little bit more right now, making sure that he does not get that uh, acceleration penalty. Oh, oh but almost. Uh, this is going to be wonky. He's going to yeah. lose a lot of speed because Jump's of that. Jump's awkward now. The drift's awkward. It's going to be about a second almost. Yeah. Point six. That is, um, I mean, that's all it takes. It takes one bad line and that will snowball into further uh, bad lines, especially when it's a long straight section where momentum is key. Yeah, like if you fall off your rhythm, that that is hard to get back to. He's back on the lines he wants to drive now. The speed is equalized, but the time loss is felt. He's point six behind. Off he's again up there, but he is in the mix with Pack and Carl through this section. Gwen and Binks try their best, but they lost time here. Alfie also losing time. Carl and Pack does that part of the map so well, and they will be in the lead. But Alfie had a great identity last time. He set the fastest time so far. Can he get the jumps right to beat them both? Oh, no, that's Afi, a bit much. And that looks like an ace for Team Solary. Nobody is too close to them. They're driving incredibly fast, and they will get a 128.89. And they take the map with that because they were on track point. So oh, first map goes to Solary. They got BDS's first map pick. Yes, yeah, that's first choice. Okay, okay. Um, that is setting a statement once again. It really is. They had some strong rounds and eventually BDS, when they faltered, the consistency from Solary shows up one more time. So as we take a look at some of these replays, we can uh, we can say that the next map is going to be Slowdown, where we have Solary with the consistency. Hopefully they're going to be able to take that home once again and put BDS even under more pressure. I mean, this, if they win slowdown, that is also a statement. Because that's kind of like raiding the opponent's base and taking all their possessions and belongings and everything they thought they were good at. <laughs> I mean, just taking their entire ancestry, like their family book. Or something. It might also be that BDS feels le less pressured because they know they already have uh, a win in the best of, uh, best of threes in the series, right? Um, so they know they already have a win. That's less pressure. Solary knows if they lose this series, they're out of the tournament. So it might be BDS that takes a while to rev up. They also haven't played any matches today yet. So they might also just need to warm up a little bit. 
We've seen Solary be the best team on this in week one, in week two, in week three. And every week, they've just gotten faster and faster at it. This is like, you're going up against the team on their best map here. If you take it, it's an accomplishment unlike no other. But Solary has played this against BDS several times. And in the last match, they won it twice. And we are currently driving the first round here of Slowdown. You can see Pag is in the lead, but not by a lot. BDS is definitely following along quite well. And Carl Jr. once again is in the back. 0.2 of a deficit up to his teammate. But the players are not separated by that much. Everybody's driving on top of each other. And Carl Jr. does have a great identity to show for it as well. You can see Ooh, here trying to jump up to Lorel. second place. Aurel is going to get a lot of speed, though. He might overtake up back to second. But oh, it is... Oh, he clipped and it's an ace. He clipped the finish again. Not again. Again, but like multiple people we've seen clip finishes tonight and Aurel now becoming one of them giving the ace to Solary three points that was so close the high speed line there it works by keeping a one gear higher instead of shifting down you stay in third gear through that identity but it's very difficult to manage the speed and while that is said pack dropped an astonishing 53.33 as well so regardless it's hard to keep up with I'll be dropping a nice time in chat and now yeah. they're falling behind in the next round to pack with a really fast start. Yeah. Look at him. He's two tons out of everyone else. Out of the start. 20 seconds. 28.8 flat through that checkpoint. Good pace. Aurel going really wide. He's going to have a little bit more speed. Getting maybe a little bit closer. But Team Solary might be able to get another ace here. Because Carl Jr.'s identity here on slowdown seems to be incredibly fast. Aurel needs to push this. He doesn't oh, get to get the outside. Oh, he hits no. the tree. He doesn't get the outside line. Carl Jr. and Pack alone in the front. Off he can't do anything about it. That's going to be another. a back to back ace for Solary. Another ace. Another other point three like wh what do you even do they're driving fast but you it, fast is not enough like nope. driving fast is not enough and it's like if you drive safe and try not to crash that's not enough you have to literally probably beat your personal best here to beat these guys every round every round consistently um, Solary has showcased that slowdown is not a map you want against them, and it might even be something that BDS is oh, doing. Now, see, they're risking, but that's good. That's good. That's what they have to do. Now, it might not have been completely on purpose because the second line he got there was unfavorable. He is a little bit behind, jumping down to third place, but this might be a map that BDS will be forced to ban. Yeah, next set? I don't know. I mean... It's either this or freestyle, right? Like, pick your poison. Oh, they do have their good map, Solary. But this is certainly one of them, the way they're playing. Afi having to risk, as you said, and make some mistake there in the process. Arel still keeping up with Pack after 44 seconds of driving. Going up into the lead right now. He tends to go for this wide line, getting more speed here. But now needs to manage the air control. Is it enough to snipe Pack? Can he get through? Oh, that's so close. Eight thousandths of a second, but Pack maintains the lead. That's going to be two points for Solary. They're jumping even closer to the map victory. Difference of approach there. Aurel almost making it work. But yeah, eight to one. BDS need two aces and then some to get back here. So it's going to be tough. Solary are probably going to take this map. And it could be that BDS are already looking ahead to the next map. It could be. I mean, at this point, 8-1 to one is such an incredibly difficult thing to come back from. Oh. You need, yeah, and there goes Orel into the side of the wall. I mean... That's Afi, one point secure at least, right? Yeah, Afi needs to get first place now uh, to be able to survive just oh, one more round here on this pack map. Pack is dropped an even faster start, Danik. I don't really want to say if that is uh, close to the world record pace here for Pack as he... Uh, Continues to dominate this game. Let's see what the final time is going to be. The splits are ridiculous right now. Going up the hill, going through in between the trees, getting the drift right there, still keeping strong. How fast is this from Pack? Hello? Slow down! 56 124. That is a new world record coming in from Pack. He demolished it. Like, that is so much faster. The old record was at 56.19, but even that was far beyond the competition. That's a crazy run. That's impressive. I mean, Pag is just on <laughs> another level today. 56.12. All right, that's the time to remember. If you're going to drive a sick time, you might as well do it in the grand final. Jesus Christ. And it just goes to show that he is 
he is comfortable with the pressure of a grand final. He is okay. He doesn't mind it at all. In fact, it might even push him to greater heights. Yeah, he's unfazed. And there's, I, there's no way BDS don't ban that map, right? Like, I mean, yeah. If you, if you don't, you're just saying we lose a point here, I think. And it's not because Avi and Arella are bad. It's just like, you are going up against a literal demigod. Yeah. On that map. Like, no. Anything but that. And uh, both Call <laughs> Junior and Pack are actually really uh, well versed on this map as well. Call Junior currently shares the um, the round world record. What, what do we call it? The, the, the league, league record. record. Yeah. The league record. He shares that with Massa at the moment. So Call Junior can showcase maybe even another record right here. It would be amazing to see both the members of Team Solary get a record in the grand finals. Let's put that out there so you can pay attention to it. The record 57. 547 is the time to beat the league record, the fastest time we've seen on back and forth. Into the start here, Pack with a good start. Carl Jr. joining him, and Solary are looking to keep up the pressure. This is BDS' second choice, and if they get aced on this, the first best of seven is looking dire for them. But Carl and Pack are driving so fast already. This is 57.7 pace roundabouts. They don't make a mistake in the identity. Alfie's gonna try. The identity here is driving backwards with the reactor booster, and you have to weave between pillars. He could gain a little bit of time with tighter approaches, but it's hard oh. to gain a lot of time. And, and Pack and Carl are gonna start with an ace and 57-7. 57-7, incredible, respectable time, and both of the players driving a sub-58, which is what we want to see from the players by now. Uh, sub-58 was almost unseen in the first couple of weeks, the first three weeks of the tournament, and now we see consistently players drive it every single round, and a .7 at that. .7 used to be the world record as well. Like. We have the 0.5, but there's not a lot of people that have gotten under 0.7 on this. So, spectacular to do that. And I think they're going to do that just about every round. But this... Oh, oh well. Well, sliding out. This is Offy's specialty map from the early weeks. If you pick this map against BDS in the early weeks, you were bound to lose. But other teams have caught up now in knowledge. Look at Carl and Pack again. It's so impressive deceased team solary just drive in tandem there in the front like shoulder to shoulder solidarity for solary like that is just incredible to see and now they're once again only faced by afi he can get a few tighter lines he's trying to push it you can see just how close to the corners he's driving and he is getting closer but it's not quite going to be enough and it's going to be another back-to-back -back ace to start off the map and they share the time basically to the hundredth here carl and pack in sync and another ace six to zero i mean this is uh they're they're saying to Team BDS, if you want to beat us, you need to like push yourself. This is this is not going to be easy for you. So, so the thing for me is like, if I'm getting beaten this bad, I kind of just want to leave the server. Like, okay, you know. But you're also playing for the grand finals, but you gotta find some way to 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 stop the punches, right? Yeah. You gotta find some way to block and mentally reset here. But where do you do that? Because it looks like Solar is just gonna run away with map after map here. If BDS don't find some like breathing room. I mean, they have to, and already in the start of the map, they're going to be behind. Okay, Pack did choose to uh, drive over a lot of that penalty snow, but he's still going to be on second slash third place, and that's not too bad. Afi taking a little bit of a flight right there. He's going to lose some, some pace, and now Aurel is the only one uh, there to be able to deny another ace, which would be just impossible to come back but from. This could be the start of something. We've seen BDS have good lines in the backward section, and Aurel is here, side by side with Pack, quite close to Carl as well. He's gonna go for an inside approach on the first slalom, but he's losing ground, oh. and that could be a third. That could be a third ace for Solary, and they take it barely. Pack crashing the finish yeah, line. But a another, bit. That would have been 2.7s as well. Like, that is difficult to deal with. It's um, a it's a 9-0 and back and forth here. You kinda I mean triple ace is what you need. I mean what they're doing right now is they're just trying to uh, crush the spirits of BDS. Like yeah. as fast as possible. We just we need them we need their spirits down. Oh, yeah. We need to capitalize. So even if you're winning by this much, you just want to keep the pressure up. Yeah. Because you can keep this mental advantage into yeah. the next game. Exactly, as well. exactly. So that's definitely what they're trying to do. And you can see Pag and Call of Junior all, every time, even at the start of the map, they're breaking away. Ridiculous start here by Pack, by the way. If he wasn't already driving fast, he forces the mistakes out of BDS and he... Oh, oh even he with the wide line. 
even with a wide land, that was a 0.4 checkpoint. Pack, like, could have obliterated the world record of this round. I'm so sure of it. That was crazy. Carl, still up front. And just one point is I mean, necessary here. Yeah, there's 10 seconds down to Aurel, so I think this map is as good as over. They are going to try to go for the quadruple ace. Afi will try to deny it, of course. <laughs> quad oh, oh, but... Oh, oh no! But that could have been... Wait, no, Afi they... <laughs> is not driving. He is just waiting, and it will be a quadruple ace. The 12-0, the fabled 12-0 is on the board. In and the Solary grand finals. The third, yeah. And Janik, uh, we go into, uh, go into a solary choice now. Yes, this is gonna be Solary's map now, which, uh, oh, I Slippy can't remember. Slippy Slides. Slippy Slides. We haven't seen that been Very played today. Very fun to play against Solary on. But, That's oh so my fun. God. I love that. <laughs> getting getting bobbed down 12-0 is a rough thing for the mental. But, but honestly, I feel it's better to just get fully swept than like, ha like lead yourself to believe you have a chance. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's 9 to 9 and right. then you lose, right? So that's a good question. Would you rather get like completely swept the map or would you rather be on the verge of winning like maybe over no, time and then losing? Me. Like if I if I just lose it, I have no investment into thinking I can win and then it's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's more crushing if you're like so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tantalizing, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, and that's fair enough. I mean, at least they can, they could have spent that last round of back and forth trying to reset the mindset trying to just come back from the loss and be like, okay, we're going to lose this map. Let's focus on the next one. Like, in team spirits wise, if you get stomped, it can be fun to just like joke about it. Like, dude, we're getting obliterated. Yeah. Isn't this hilarious? And then you <laughs> you smile on, smiles in chat, and you just go smile to the next chat. round. Just smile. It's going to be fine. Just drive faster and focus up. Slippy slides chosen by Solary. We're not going to say that this is a given win, but they have won this twice against BDS. Uffy very fast here. We're gonna try to see low 111s. The world record a 110. 90 by Mura. I mean, this is this is a map that Solary has excelled on quite a lot, but BDS is definitely no easy opponent to best. So it, the nothing is over yet, and we have seen other teams come back from a 3-0 deficit in terms of maps. So it's not nothing is over. Yeah, I mean, thinking back to Sprout in the Challenge League, they won from a reverse sweep, best of seven. You can make it happen, but it all depends on the mental game. Are they still feeling like they have a chance here? Carl with the inside line, but the others going wide are going to have more speed. Arel clipped the roof of the checkpoint there, losing speed. Now we go into the slippy slides. This is the identity three. Bug slides in a row is the obstacle part here, and your first one decides your trajectory a lot. Carl Jr. is going to stay ahead. Off you going wide. That might be it. Oh, oh pack, pack missing. Securing a draw for BDS here. Um, we said OPAC in unison right there, by the way, which I thought was uh, worth mentioning. So it will be a draw in the, in the start here on the first round, but that was due to Pack making a mistake. You know, uh, Team BDS cannot... Um, assume that Solary will keep making mistakes. You can rely on stuff like that happening, especially not from Team Solary, not on a map like this. They have to start driving a little bit faster, get some aces of their own. If they start um, getting behind on points early, then that could already set the tone for the rest of the map. It really could. They did do pretty well there. Call dropped the 111.3, which I would say is right around where we're gonna expect the winning pace to be. But 111.5, that's going to be a great pace to drive consistently. And if they can just avoid mistakes, that's honestly the winning condition on Slippy Slides. The map we see a lot of mistakes on. Pack crashed out this round. Yep. But Alfie and Aurel are still keeping clean. And if they beat Carl here, that's an ace. That's just as you said. They, yeah, they have to utilize this situation. Oh, oh yeah. Carl hit. And now, capitalize. Come on, Team BDS. You need to capitalize right now. Get a good inside drift here. Great bug slide from both the players. Afi, okay, a little bit risky, but he did make it work. And now they're both going into the identity half a second, even more ahead of both the players in Team Solary. Going for two different uh, lines here for the bug slides in the ending, but they Carl both will quite work. close. He is getting closer. Is it going to be enough? I do not think so. And we see an ace from Team BDS, a much needed ace. They keep Carl at bay, and can they get Slippy? If they win Slippy, they might have some chances. Their next map that they could get to play would be Reps. Yes, but Reps is also a dangerous. It's a dangerous uh, map. So Solary did so well on Reps earlier, so uh, I, it. 
But first, first things first, if they win this map, get some momentum back. Make sure that, okay, we can win this type of vibe. Get that on the team. Uh, because right now, it's looking pretty dark for Team BDS. But they are three points ahead. And so far, they have avoided any single mistake. Pack crashing another round here. Oh, shouldn't have said anything. It's still going to be advantage BDS, though, with Arel holding that third as Pack has fallen one and a half seconds behind now. So battle between Uffy and Carl to decide this round up front. Carl avoiding the mistake. And now we see some different trajectories. Carl went for a very inside bug slide here. That's going to get him closer to the checkpoint. Uffy going to have more speed all throughout this next part if he did his line correctly. Looks like he will gain a little bit, but having to that save. Some, yeah. And Wonky just, entrance. Yeah, just get through. It looks like Carl has this unlock. Just the bug slides to go. Well, yeah, but and once we've talked about this, you want to land as close to a 90 degree angle as possible because that's going to tighten your slide. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's 1. so nice. Point one one point one one one. That's so satisfying. That is incredibly satisfying. Uh, Carl <laughs> Jr. coming in clutch for all the OCD people in chat. Very nice. If only we could find a way to remove that first zero. Yes. You know? That was that was the. They should do uh, an exception for that. If you have a one one one, you remove. I mean, zero, zero means nothing, right? So yeah, just, just assume that it's nothing. Yeah, just ignore it. Ignore it. Yeah, I agree. And that's why we can just, you know, BDS, zero maps, we can just, you know, ignore the score in total. Oh, yeah. The score is invisible. You, it, can't, it can't hurt you. <laughs> but it's not there. But now, uh, on this round, we have both called Junior and Pac uh, driving the start of the map without any mistakes. And Aurel has a slight mistake. So the last couple of rounds, we've seen Pac make mistakes. If Pac was there with called Junior... Uh, the scoreline would have been different. And now he is. In fact, he's in front. And if Solary gets an ace of their own, they're all of a sudden equalized. I remember... Oh, oh. Aurel missing the debug slide angle. If you go over 90 degrees, that is what happens. You will just look like a fish out of water, just sliding around, but not getting any grip. This is the bug slides. Pack has had such fast pace on this map in previous games, and he's doing it again right now. Finding his rhythm after a few oh. crashes, but Offy, inside line, could get there. Not, Not quite. quite. No. We did it again. In unison. We, we've done that a lot. We harmonize, Shane. Yeah, but we do. I mean... We're like an instrument. Mm -mm, we, uh, we... Okay, I, I'm not gonna... Con I, so, we... <laughs> we said... <laughs> I was going... It was going a different way. So, Solary. Uh, it was important for Team BDS to deny Solary that ace. They're going to remain two points ahead. And that's going to be even closer to the match point. They need one more point to get up to that seven, which will give the Team Solary. They're making a lot of mistakes here on Slippery Slides at the moment. But it is, like, so precise. This map is like a dance. And if you miss one step, if your left foot is a little bit out, you're not going to get there for the next move. You have to constantly be left, right, left, right. You're always doing something. There's never one moment where they're kind of oh. just going in a straight line. And with Pack sliding out okay. here, BDS have a golden opportunity to ace once again against Solary on Slippy Slides. And maybe they can get a map here. They, I mean, it does look like they've been offered this for free. All they need to do is land in these bug slides without over uh, turning. Oh, that was kind of close. Morel, not gonna yeah, that was, was a, little bit, a little bit worried. Just land in a safe oh, box this slide. Is, no, wait, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. RL. Pack sliding out as well. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Okay. It looks like it's going to be a... Uh, yeah. It's, draw. It's, it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw. I mean, that was, a, as you said, a golden opportunity. They needed to capitalize. Just utilize that both of the Solary players made a huge mistake. Um, Aurel lost 13 seconds in the last identity there. So... Uh, it's, that's rough. But, but the problem is, like, it starts with that first bug slide, right? Where the first bug slide is a little bit scary. And you're like, oh, I got a safe. And then you try to go extra safe in the second. Like, dude, let me not mm -hmm. mess this up. It would be very bad if I messed this up. And you keep thinking about that. And then you do something you yeah. never usually do. I right? also just want to say to chat real quick that you always notice when a caster's curse is happening. Can we start going positive and only notice when caster blesses happen? And then call that out instead. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Let's, let's do the reverse curse. Yeah. So here we can see that BDS are acing. Um, yes, BDS <laughs> definitely will be acing. I mean, Pac uh, actually slid out a little bit. Aurel is kind of far behind. Called Junior and Pac, they are looking to 
try to get that ace because Team BDS, even if they just get one point, they are getting closer and closer to that victory pack going so inside with that buck slide. But it was still fine enough to maintain the third place. Aurel is getting a little bit closer. Point three separating those players at the moment. Aurel did seem to make a mistake. Afi overtaking Call Jr. maybe getting some good Pac buck slides. Good he needs to go super tight here. Will he do it? Pack also with a risky ending, but Afi being able to just take away the lead from Call Jr. Two hundredths of a second, making sure that it ends up in a draw. Has Afi made a single mistake this entire map? I um, think he's just driven round after round, 111. Easy. I mean, he has definitely performed I, well. I can't, I can't even think if he's made one mistake. He's been so good for BDS. Always there when slide outs and whatnot happen. And if Aurel joins him for one round up there right now, they could take this map away finally. But Solary does need a ace here Ooh, if they want to get back into it. So Carl Jr. being point two behind right now is not a great sign. Solary or Team BDS, as of right now, they will close the map out if they're able to hold these positions. Yeah, they can do it right now, but ooh, a bit wide from Aurel. That's going to let Pac and Carl get past him on the dirt before the bug slides. And now we have to see if they've done their homework with these lines. Inside line is what Solary thinks is the best. BDS going slightly wider. Where is Aurel? Is that going to pay off? He's slightly behind, but gets more speed up the hill. Oh! Hits the checkpoint a little bit. Carl jumping up into first. Offy just right there, though, with them. And now, who has the best trajectory here? Last time was Offy. He's a little bit wider than Carl, but he can maybe get a tighter trajectory here. Ooh, goes wide. Gets overtaken in the end. And at the end of the day, it's Solary that wins that round. We go 9-8. Nine nine to eight. Eight. Okay, so... Um, this is getting really interesting. Solary has put themselves back into the match here, but they cannot afford making the, these mistakes. We've seen Solary make an unprecedented amount of mistakes here on this map at the moment, whether it's because of nerves or because they're so far in the lead that they've let their guard oh, down. Either way, they need to stop doing so. They need to stop doing the mistakes. They're also on best of seven point here. If Solary wins this, there's a bracket reset and we play another best of seven. But BDS could also win this map and extend the match. Here we go into the downhill. No mistakes so far this round at the very least from both teams. And the pace up front from Offy is faster than ever. Here, very difficult to keep full grip. Oh, and Offy sliding out and Solary top two. All of a sudden, this looks like Solary's map to win and indeed the entire match. Aurel will try to see if he can get a little bit closer getting an inside line buck slide, but both the Solary members also do this. He needs to get up to first place to deny these players at the moment. Is he going to be able to do so? If he overtakes one, it's also going to be over overtime, but he needs these buck slides to happen for him right now. Pag and Carl Jr. executing the first one executing the second one. He has one more slide to see if he can overtake. Around. He might be able to do it, but not quite enough. And Solary will take the first game. Well, Solary win 4-0. Once again, great times that last round. 11.1.2. And that one round where Alfie makes a mistake is where they find their winning opportunity. I mean... That was an incredible game and well played, just awe inspiring from Solary. Just uh, absolutely uh, crazy gameplay, winning four matches in a or four maps in a row against Team BDS. But it looks like BDS held their own really well on Slippy. I think going to the next one, they're gonna have to ban Slowdown. Like, what on yeah. earth? You cannot play that map. There's just no way you win, I no. think. Slowdown I mean, was might... just crazy. Yeah, Slowdown was crazy. Banned that one away. Back and forth was honestly also a little bit It rough. was a bit of a stomp, but they was, might was have back and forth there. not the four aces in a row? Yeah, that was the 12-0. So, but at that point, they were down, you know? They were down two I maps. I mean, yeah. Agility dash, I don't know if they need to ban away or if they want to pick into it again. But I really want to see BDS on reps, actually. It is the grand finals of Trackmania World Tour. We just saw Solary quite confidently obliterate BDS in the best of seven there, winning four maps. I mean, that was an incredible performance by both the teams, honestly. Like, there was multiple games where G1, or sorry, not G1, but BDS could have taken it. But we also saw some incredible stomps, like some just um, unreal performance coming in from Solary. Yeah, menacing on slowdown, menacing on uh, back and forth too, like back and forth was yeah. four 
aces in a row. Slowdown was just pace based. It was uh, Solary just showed dominance from pace. But back and forth, four aces in a row, also due to like mistakes. And so here's the thing, right? Now they've played four best of sevens total this season. Mm -hmm. First one, BDS won. It was four to three. Second one, BDS won. It's four to three. Or 42, I think. Four to two. But the last two best of sevens, Solary have won four zero and now four zero. They are playing one more best of seven to the side of the championship. And we jump straight into the picks and bans. Immediate ban on gyroscope followed by freestyle. They're sticking to their guns here. They're saying, and they flip a faith first pick. They're trying to change things up, but slow down the answer. We know Pac was yep. crazy there. Reps, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. They're trying to go for some, some different maps here. Solary are picking the same stuff. Yep. It's up to Arel and Offy to try to find an opening. Will they go for agility dash or back and forth or try something new? Parkour was something park we looked at in the break here. Maybe they can... I think parkour... They could try their luck. They could capitalize on parkour because it's a little bit of a different play style. But uh, back and forth, arrow pipes and agility dash, I would favor Solarion. Yeah, that's tough here. It's tough. What are they going to go for? Agility dash, the okay. choice. Okay. And now, Solary with one more choice. Maybe it's back and forth here. I think it's back and forth. Arrow pipes and back and forth the random. Oh, that is a clutch random for Solary. Probably um, preferring that to parkour, yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, first map, Flip of Faith. We haven't seen any of the players play that today. It is also a very different uh, style than the traditional Trackmania style. You need to do like three barrel rolls by the time you're in the finish. So that could benefit um, Team BDS. But slow down. Slippy slides and uh, back and forth. That's at least three maps that I feel like uh, Solary will take Especially with home. momentum. But guys, it's a treat that we get to go all the distance in the third best of seven here in the grand final. Get some hype in the chat for the team you're rooting for. This is the final series. And after this, we will know which team is the best Trackmania team in the world at the moment. Starting on Flip of Faith, a map that requires really good air control really good air control like you want to minimize airtime multiple places and some of the places you want to do it by doing a barrel roll mid-air going low enough as to land early but high enough as to not to crash and this is where we will see people risk it for the biscuit looking at the player cams right now two of our players have transformed into real life formula one cars due to all the nerves they have changed their form into the car <laughs> itself that's how you know they're one with the That's game. That's why they're so good at the game, dude. Yeah. No, you just, if you want to get faster, just become the car you're yep. driving. <laughs> but really, you can see the players that have their cam on. Like, this is high pressure. This is high tension. Five see seconds here. left to go until we there start. There we see the first low air time and another low air time right here. You see Carl Jr. crashing it. You want to land as early as possible there on the top to be able to um, try to break away from your opponents. We are live in the grand final round one BDS with the first map choice. They went for agility dash last set and they lost that one. They're trying to change things up, put Solary on something weird like the flips here, because this right here, aiming this flip up to the platform is very precise and it's going to cause Carl Jr. to fail round one. Oh, that is... An and, and Pac oh, as well. both of them. Team BDS might have picked a very clutch starting map here. Both of the players doing well. Pac is 0.6 behind, and he's the only one who's going to be able to contest for this round one ace that looks to be happening. This is looking like an ace, but as we know, with of Faith, it's still two more of those barrel rolls. The last ones are a little bit easier, but Pac here, he has nothing to lose. He's going to go full risk. Off he going for a weird line there, hitting the pillar, and will be passed by Pac. So Pac gets one, going for a low jump now, up to the platform. Lean. Challenging Arel for this one, but Arel will get a clean landing onto the pipe, dropping into the finish and securing first place. 104.13 as well, a good oh, time. Oh, Afi got overtaken by Cole Jr. as well, and this might actually look like a draw instead of an ace. Unfortunate. Afi fit. Offy failing, yeah, I thought Carl here missed the second, uh, the finish for a second, but no. Offy missing that flip for a second time. Yeah, and this is what happens, like, we've talked about this. This map is definitely one of the maps that are the most untraditional to play, um, and that is also why these these players might have a, uh, one or two mistakes coming into some of those bail rolls, also because you want to risk it. Here, once again, low airtime on the first wall jump. 
Wanna land just like that. Afi executing it well. Another low airtime barrel roll. All of the players making it. Pack. Oh my god, this is a stacked round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was really well played. You never, like, oh, oh okay. you never really see all the players survive it that well in the start. And this time, Aurel will fail just after landing it. And now, Alfie, who failed last round, he has a job to do. Aurel actually PB'd in that last round, set a new personal best in the grand final opening round. Ooh. So that's really good by him. Carl going for a low airtime here. And Afi likes to go around this pillar. Last time he crashed and that made it look bad, but it's actually quite and competitive. Now we might see some risky lines coming in here. Carl Jr. with such a clean jump. Overtaken for first place. Afi Ooh. jumping high. Might be overtaken there by Pack, but Pack also clips the bottom. And now Afi gets that second place, but Carl Jr. showcasing just how much a risk will save you if you do that in the barrel rolls. Yeah, if you, like, he glued to the ground on both of those flips. Like, that was just magnetic. I mean, and, and it is so hard to recognize exactly where you want to jump off that, uh, that hill to be able to do a perfect barrel roll like that. I think it is so precise, it, it is almost impossible to be fully consistent on. But like what, what I've seen players do here is they will build designated practice maps where what they do is they place a checkpoint right here and then they will sit for hours and just grind and grind and grind until they have just like an innate feeling, yeah. an innate just touch on exactly when to leave the block. But that's definitely what you got to do as well, right? I mean, at this at this level of competition, every advantage is a crucial advantage that you need to have. And making maps dedicated to just practicing some of these identities is definitely something that every team uh, does and should do. They should do it. And if you do it enough, of course, you can get good at it. But executing it with nerves in the finals is another thing. Uffy again around that pillar on the outside, challenging Carl right now up in first. Pack giving us a good overview oh. of you respawning and an ace is possible here unless Aurel is in range. Can he get one? Can he go low? Can he get past oh. Pack? Pack respawned, so he will deny an ace. Can Offy get past Pack here? He actually is. And now that's a reverse situation of what we saw from Team BDS a second ago. This time, Solary gave up their ace to make it a draw. It's still uh, just one point difference. That's crazy. Yeah. It feels almost like we're not flipping cars. We're kind of flipping coins here with the rounds. But that was so important for Team BDS to get Solary, or not to get, but like for Solary to make a mistake because this is once again Team BDS's map choice. First pick. This is the map where like we have to come back. This is the map we come back on. And if Solary got that ace, that would have been such a, a detrimental blow to Team BDS's um, momentum. Ooh, Carl with a great line to just get past the BDS players. But Pack is losing a lot of time here. It's a 2v1 already into the second half of the map here. Yeah, Call Jr. in the lead, and we have Aurel and Afi sandwiched between Call Jr. and Pack. Nothing is over quite yet, though. Pack is quite far behind, so Call Jr. will try to maintain this lead. If he makes any sort of mistake, that could be a ace, an ace for Team BDS. And the thing here, when you're 2v1 on this map, you can afford to just have one person go full send. Carl needs to do really good flips oh, to keep him out of so here, because he still is in the lead, but one small air time to stay could be enough. Carl likely winning that by two hundredths, and Pack takes third. Solary now up two points. Solary extending their lead. And a great time from Carl, too. 104, 26, 25. It's right around his best time in the league. The, uh, the bell rolls from Carl Jr. have looked really clean so far, though, especially that first one in the identity. It looks like he aims higher up on the ramp when he lands, but he also that makes him land a little bit earlier. And it has, it has been beneficial to him every single time so far. Yeah, going wide to where the block is at its highest point, right? Yes, exactly. Less airtime, even though it looks like he's uh, not taking the sharpest line. Really, really good from Carl. Pack struggling a little bit here, but if Carl can keep landing these flips, then Solary are not going to lose a lot of points. They're going to stay level. And with Aurel making a mistake here, they now have a 2v1 situation, although Afi has a good lead to work with. They can make something happen here. They could definitely, but Afi is the only person standing between Solary and an ace. So Afi needs to make sure that he makes zero mistakes here in the identity. And it is so easy to just jump a little bit too high or jump a little bit too low. And Carl Jr. has executed these identities so clean so far. So he knows he has to do it well. That is definitely good enough. And he needs just one more jump. It looks like he got it. And that's going to be Afi on first securing another draw.
No, oh, he missed the finish. Oh, he missed the. There's no way. Oh. He missed the drop down into the finish. Disaster for Offy. He, he, he uh, tilted off the face of the oh, earth at yeah, that point. He, yeah, yeah. He tilted. just drives off the map. I mean, mm. oh, that should never happen. And he knows it. He knows it. He's played this map for tens, twenties, thirty hours plus, and never probably done that in practice. And then it happens in the final. That's just heartbreaking. Celery 9-4, to four. they need two aces. I mean, I did not see what happened there on the player cam. Their player cams seem to still be uh, cars that have hard time showing emotions, but I'm sure if we saw his face, that would have been a, a reaction uh, that, I mean, would be understandable at that point. Oh, it's just so... Uh, you, f you have to feel for him, like he drives such a good run and missing, and now let's see if Afi can redeem himself here. He will be up in first, but he needs Aurel to be there with him, and Aurel is 3 Tons behind, but still in the mix. This is still a winnable spot for them. But if they don't get Flip of Faith, then you have to wonder where they're going to find their winning chances against Solary. Because you're going up on Slowdown, you're going up on Slippy, and it's going to get tough. Oh, Aurel going wide, getting a lot of speed though. Passing pack. Now the first flip up. Alfie getting Ooh. it perfect when it matters. But all four players are here. Low airtime matters. Aurel clipping oh. a little bit. And there's not going to be an ace. Alfie will win. He will hit the finish now. But it's a little too late. Uh, Solary getting the map point. But I have to applaud Afi for being able to come back and get first place after, the round, uh, after, something yeah, like uh, the round after something like that. I'd be happens. boiling. Like, yeah, I would. I, keeping your composure like that must be so difficult. And the time he drove as well is the fourth fastest time in the league. So he really just, you know, he made up for it, but he couldn't afford it. Nah, but that was, uh, that was, sometimes that happens, right? You cannot play perfectly all the time. And even the best players in the world will make silly mistakes from time to time. We see it in every esport. Let's see it again. It's right there. Oh, I think he jumped too late and hit the top of it and just yeah. dropped down. I mean, that's... Well, okay. Mental reset. You're going up against Solary round two on slowdown. They looked faster in their previous set here than against G1, and they still beat G1 on this. So, this is very tough. I mean, I applaud going for this. Instead of freestyle, freestyle could be even more difficult. Oh, pack, pack with an early mistake. But Afi also with an early mistake. That's going to be two different matches here. We're going to see Carl Jr. Aurel fighting for first and second, and Pack and Afi fighting for third and fourth. We are going to see that very even up front still between Carl and Aurel, and usually the first place battle matters a lot more for the rest of the field, so I'm going to pay attention to who wins there. But yeah, the pace here when Solary don't crash has been immaculate, so... Are well enough yeah. in to see and what they're capable of. It is of. not over quite yet because Carl Jr. has an incredible, uh, just an unreal touch with this identity. So he might be able to overtake Orel here in the ending. Gets an inside Ooh. tree line already right there. That's going to give him the first place. One more turn oh and over my. the penalty. And that's going to be so clean. <laughs> Carl Jr. overtakes for first place. That's what I'm talking about. The Carl finesse. Jr. just. Yeah, like he, the car control? That he displays there is just art. The weaving over the tops of the of the hills right there, so perfect. The execution, making sure you know what speed you can get with the angle that you drive over the humbat. It's just like just perfection. As as a Trick Mania player, you know he's like walking on a thin slack line where he's just like one tiny misstep from flying off. Yeah. But he just keeps his balance perfectly on those uphills. Beautiful stuff. He gains a lot of time there and he gets a point for a solary. Two to one. Two to one. And this is also Solary's map pick for the people that didn't see that. So Solary uh, thought that they would win this map against Team BDS. They did so in the previous game. Can they do it again as of right now? It does look like they are in a favorable position. They are going into the end. Once again, Carl in fourth, but we know he has those lines. Pack as well, practicing alongside him. Probably has the same setup on. Lock himself going up past Uffy. Aurel going for the wide speed line. Looks like Pack's going to win the battle for first, and Aurel had to respawn. That's a win for Solary. And look at the final time, 56.3, but Uffy is there as well. Pack just dropped the record earlier today. That was at 56.12. I mean, that is just incredible. That's disgusting. But if uh, if Solary keeps extending their lead just with regular uh, round wins, that's going to put them in way too great of a position. Like, Team BDS needs to respond 
uh, pretty soon because the snowballing effect has already started. It has indeed, and we see though, they are able to get a little bit of the start, at least towards Carl. That gives them some breathing room. They can afford a draw, but they have to close this gap before it, you know, increases. So getting past Pack when he's driving like this is going to be tough, man. He's once again on like 0.3, 0.4 pace early on in the round. They get a good yeah. drift around that corner, though. The thing is, though, that being 0.1 ahead of Carl is not enough with his identity. You need to be further ahead for Carl not to be a fear anymore. And he's getting closer already right now. That's three players driving shoulder to shoulder. And Carl will get that inside line once again, jumping up to second place. Will he hold it? Will it, this be oh. another ace for Team Solary? Oh, Pat getting a little bit of airtime, but not enough to lose the round. And that's going to be 7 to 2. Carl went from fourth to first there in the identity, as you said. You gain a 10th or two, that's maybe not enough. You need more because he has such a feeling for that part. Yeah, I mean, he, as you said, finesses through that identity flawlessly with perfection. So Carl Jr. can afford to be just a tiny bit slower in the start, but if he's, as he does right now, is already oh, ahead, no. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> this it's is dangerous. Scary. Yes. Solar are on track point here, and Ace would get them the track, and we go next. And Slowdown is probably their strongest map. Like, this is the toughest one for BDS to win because it just suits Carl and Pac's playstyle so well, and they've worked so much on it that they can do it nearly flawlessly, but look at the, like, BDS are here. Can they get the identity even better than Pac and Carl, though? They know they have to. They've seen the splits. They just gotta go all in and try to get past the two Titans here in the identity. The inside line from Carl and Pac is clean. Arel going for wide speed line. Alfie there, too, but no, it's not gonna happen. Solary close it out in four rounds. 10 to 2. With a 10 to 2 score. On. I yeah. mean, that is... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean... Team BDS can still come back, but Solary are putting, you know, some incredible matches down. They're crazy. They're crazy on slowdown. So we're going to jump into the next map. This is once again um, Team BDS's map pick. It's going to be reps now as we look at some of the some of the replays here. Some unfortunate events coming in from Team BDS. And the thing is that Solary capitalizes so well. They utilize their opponent's weaknesses they see the the small weaknesses in the armor and poke right at that if there's one spot where you know oh the others they might have some uh you know some mistakes happening right here they 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 notice it immediately they communicate so well and they just clutch it out when it matters but this could maybe be where bds can turn the tide Offy on this map is a robot in the most literal sense. He's an AI that just can pop 106.5, 106.6 every single round when he's feeling well on the map. Right now, they're under a lot of pressure. It's a lot of momentum in Solary's favor, but if Afi can just turn that switch on and do those runs, he will be a very strong piece for BDS here. Yeah, hopefully the tilt from, uh, from the flip of faith isn't still affecting him. But he is on fourth place. He can still come back, though. Yeah, starting a little bit slower than Carl. Carl is on a great run right here. This is close to the world record pace. The 106.2s that we've seen earlier today from Binks and Gwen. But Arel and Pack are also on good runs themselves. Everyone has to revive the start up to the identity. The obstacle is. here, the bridges that they jump on, the small ledges that they have to traverse. Alfie getting past one. That's a draw position right now. Getting so Ooh. much speed into the finish. Carl, 106.5, but Alfie's there with his 0.6. And he gained about two tenths after his yeah, start. Yeah, he did really well in that identity. Definitely just full send it. Pack did overtake Orel, so it's going to be a round win for Solary. Um, so an early lead, but one point here and there is not the most uh, detrimental thing to happen. Team BDS can definitely still come back and showcase that they have what it takes to beat Solary on this map. They do have what it takes, but they have to find it within themselves to execute it. Early air break here from Alfie to try to get a little bit more speed on that landing. Pack not going for it and goes just about equal. So we head into the outside banking. Alfie daring to stay up there for quite a while, setting up earlier for the drift and getting more speed than Pack. Now he's on a good start. Now you can see the difference. From here, Alfie was able to gain two tenths on Solary. So they have a good spot here, BDS, if Afi gets a good end. Arel also beating Carl Jr. is very important for the team. 
They go into the loop. Pack, though, getting a great line there. That low approach that he's been working on. But the identity will once again decide the round. And it looks to be in favor of Solrias right now. It does, but everything is down to the identity. Is everybody going to make the first jump? Yes, they are. Driving over the beam here. Orel makes a mistake. Pack and Cole Jr. are alone in the lead. And that's going to be an ace for Team Solary. 5-1 to one on reps, which is once again Team BDS's map pick. This is tough now. This is very tough. Offy did fail at identity. And Pack dropped a 106.3, which is, again, an astonishing time to deliver consistently on this map. It is. So the world record is, uh, or the league record is a 106.38. So, I mean, before today, before, before Vince and Gwen today. started d demolishing it themselves, but off his personal best here that he's driven in league is 0.4. And now that he crashed another round and Solary are top two, Aurel needs to set a new personal best. Oh, he touches, he touches. I mean, okay, so Solary has been handed what looks like another ace. They have to get the finish, though. Oh, Aurel also had to slow down right there. He's losing even more ground. Like, the breakaway Solary made for this round should be able to put them onwards of, an, uh, uh, of the trajectory of an ace. They definitely will get that right here as long as they can make the final jumps there on the rep's identity, on the beams, and they should be able to. Are Solary going to do what everyone expected, but what many people hoped maybe someone could challenge them this year? It looks like Solary are on the march to victory right now. So much momentum, so many maps they've won in succession, eight and they're 8 one. To 1. And a back-to-back -back ace for Team Solary on BDS's map pick. I mean, this is also... I mean, I think this is has to do with momentum as well like at this point it's also to do with the mental state of team bds uh and some of the tilty uh, situation that has happened and solary is just uh, utilizing the the fact that their momentum is perfect at the moment yeah and if they can keep that pressure if they can make rl and offy feel like they have absolutely no chance in the world and it's easier to give up than sit through more rounds of this if they can instill that feeling within the BDS squad, then they will just keep winning these rounds. But right now, Aurel and Afi are up there. They're fighting. They are not done yet, but they will need two aces. That's the only way to come back here. Two aces at least, and then some regular rounds. Afi is looking for first place right now, getting closer to pack in the loop, but still lacking about a car's length to take first place. Going into the identity, they're all present. Aurel needs a lot of speed, though, to secure an ace for the team here. If it remains like this, then Solary takes the map. Pack going wide on the jump. That gives Offy an opportunity for first. Less, less speed, but maybe an inside jump could do it. It's an Another ace! ace! By oh. two hundredths of a second. Eleven to one. I mean, okay, Solary is just... They're not, they're not slowing down. They're not giving them a chance. They're not saying, hey, you have a chance to bounce back. Hey, you know, we'll, we'll give you a break. Come on, just uh, come back into the... No, they're not giving them a second to relax. Nope. You are, you are just getting blasted here. I, I mean, it's an yeah. onslaught. That, it, is, it is very hard, but I still want to say that BDS can come back. A reverse sweep is possible. Let's hear it in the chat for both Team BDS and Team Solary. They're both doing an incredible job, just awe-inspiring gameplay, unreal performances by both the teams, and they both still have what it takes. BDS could do it. We saw G1, right? Again, Solary. They were down. They almost brought it back into map five, but Solary inched out a win there. BDS... They have to win this map. So, Solary won uh, Slippery Slides last time here, just one, uh, one game ago. Oh, oh an early mistake from BDS, and that's going to be very rough. That is Afi, who is the fastest player on the team on this map. The guy who was closest to beating uh, Pac and Carl last time, but Aurel can drive 0.5s, 6 very consistently. And he's going to try to do that and just see what Carl and Pack can do about it. If they drive 0 0.2, 0 0.1, that's not really what Aurel is going for. He's just going for that consistency. But, I mean, this is the pressure on Team BDS right now, playing Solary's map pick, and this is the final map Solary needs. Like, this is the only map that stands between Solary and the Grand Champion title.
Yeah, 10 points away right now. Pack sliding out, though. This gives Aurel a lot of breathing room. And Uffy, 11 seconds behind. He's going to call that. Bro, you have half a second. Try your best to save it. We'll see what Pack can do. Going for a very sharp approach. That's a lot of speed. The sharper you land in the 90 degree angle, the more speed. And he's getting a little close. Oh, no! Aurel sliding Sli out in an ace. Oh, the tilt! And that's going to be an ace for Team Solary. Uh Okay, so that's super rough. Like, ah. Oh. This final is an unfortunate series of events for BDS. Missing a finish here, getting aced. Slide out there, getting aced. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of unfortunate events. And in the happening rounds, they play well. Solary's driving world record pace. Like, it's it's tough out here for BDS, but they're still trying. They're still fighting. They're still waste, but it's a lot tougher now than before that round. Yeah, I mean, a 3-0 deficit from the beginning is always a tough, especially for the mental as well. But BDS can come back. Afi, or sorry, Aurel was in a great position throughout the entire map. So if he didn't slide out, it, uh, the, the score points would have looked way different. And because of that, you know, it goes to show that he can still get up there. Uh, BDS can still come back. It just, they have to not make these uh, it's just grave mistakes that we've been seeing. They do. Afi is in the fight now. His presence is felt after getting through the start alive and battling pack on an even faster pace than the previous round. This would have crushed the pace that Aral drove up front in the previous. But here, Afi is there to try to get this first place right now. Pack though, pushing up the hill, Ooh. going a little bit wider on the water, oh, yeah. clipping out. This time, opportunity BDS oh, as Pack gets that acceleration penalty, has to double respawn. Afi looks to secure first place. Looks like he has it on lock, and Aurel should be able to get that third. So they win one round back. And what a time! 1 I think that is at 100, 1,000 behind world record. Yeah, 1,000s behind That's a crazy league, time. Re league record. That's crazy. Afi also, see, I mean, they, they got incredible pace. It's just about consistency. Yep, and now they have to be. Fully co oh, fully consistent from here on out. We saw a small lag there. Thought that was a crash for a second, but all players made it through the start. Two to four. It's not impossible. Like we 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 shouldn't count them out yet because they have a fighting spirit here, BDS. But against packing Carl, you just know like any bit any big mistake right now will be felt on your health bar. You have six points of health left, and if they keep winning away at it, Ooh. you're gonna run out soon. Aurel almost sit out, and he slides mm. out right here. Now Afi is tasked to make sure that Solary is not gonna get this ace. They, they cannot afford to give Solary these free points. This is so bad, and Solary getting both the inside lines, first and second place for Call Jr. and Pack. Now Afi had to respawn, and this does look like they were given another ace on a silver platter. All they had to do is execute these three box lines, Call Jr making a mistake showcasing that even Solary will also do these these silly little um, unfortunate mishaps and it can happen to anybody it can happen to anybody like they make the difficult tracks here look easy and if you saw the preview for the next season's tracks we're gonna see them make those oh, look yeah. easy too I bet and those looked absolutely crazy 6 to 3 4 points left for Solary to claim the first ever Duo Trackmania Grand League Championship here in stage one of the 2023 season. EDS, they are four maps away if they win this one or three maps after this, but it's gonna I mean, be tough. Yeah, that is going to be tough. Also with the momentum that Solary carries right now, Pack has made a mistake. He's gonna be quite far behind, but Solary just needs these individual points. They don't need aces. They just need to get uh, draws or victories or uh, round losses is even fine enough for them to actually win. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough for BDS. They have a lot on their plate. Buffy losing a little bit of time there on the dirt and tree. Carl getting up into first by a little bit more. See, extending ahead of Aurel, but after getting a lot of speed here, that's going to get him closer to Carl before the identity. This is possible. Carl failed the bug slide last time. If he has some bad omens about this, if he's a little bit shaky on it, they can maybe get back. But Carl gets the first one good, gets the second one good as well. He's looking like he can defend and get a draw. Aurel trying, but it is 
just to draw Carl with a 11-10, a great winning time. Also, yeah, also a great winning time. Like what we've seen today in terms of paces is that we've seen almost every single map be driven to like within a tenth of world record consistently. Yep. So, every like that's the winning meta. It's just you have to drive world record yeah. pace. Um, but now Solar already put themselves up to seven points, which means that an ace is enough for them to take home the map victory. And also oh! Afi with a huge mistake in the start. Orel immediately knows he has to clutch it out right now. No mistakes from Orel. Absolutely zero things can happen right now. Or Solar will take home the victory of the entire tournament. This could be it. Solary, though, you have to give it to them. Amazing season so far. They're feeling it. They know this is the round they can close it out on. They started this best of seven down one entire set. They swept BDS in the first one. They're looking to sweep them again in the second here and show that they are the best Trekmania team around when they put in the time, when they put in the practice, and they drive runs like this on the server. No one can beat them. Can Aurel have any say here? Or will Pack and Carl run away with it? It's gonna be down to the last identity. Aurel setting up tighter than the other players. Is he gonna be able to get this final section better than any of the other teammates or t opponents here? Carl Jr. going wide. Oh. Aurel with a huge mistake. And that's gonna be an ace for Team Solary. And indeed, winning the map and the series. And winning with a 1-10, I think, tells the story of Solary. They, in this final, looked dominant. They really show up when it matters. They perform under pressure, and that is why both of these players have won the World Championships before, and together, they're looking like one of the candidates to win the upcoming World Championship as well. I mean, just incredible performance by Solary, unreal performance by Team BDS as well. We can't take anything away from them. They also did so well throughout the matches. It was just a few very unfortunate mishaps that happened throughout that Solary was able to uh, capitalize on. Yeah, they made it work. See some highlights here. Solary, incredible stuff. Congratulations, Cold Union Pack. That's amazing. Like, okay, I, I feel like we took away a little bit of the hype, but how are you feeling right now? I, I cannot be happier right now. Because last week was hard. For real, I think last week I've never been that pissed after a Trackmania match in my... Oh, really? In my whole career or something like that. Yeah, I was so pissed. And, you know, like, we were that close to beat BDS, and then we lose, and then we have to play two fast kids, bro. How yeah. fast are they? <laughs> My God. And, uh, yeah, so it was not a, a nice place to be. Yeah, tell me about so, it. Last weekend was so hard, just because of, like, I've rewatched the match, and obviously we were winning the round, and I obviously screwed it up. So for me, I was like dying inside obviously i said i apologize to carl so much but yeah he wasn't he wasn't hard on me and then to, to play fucking gwen and binks it's it's never easy because these guys are just non-stop risk everything so we're like you never know when they're gonna be miles ahead of you or when you're gonna have to like safe and just like from when they're crashing so also, uh, before we go, I do. Do you guys have anything you want to say to the fans and chat and stuff? Like, sorry, one. What? What? What are you guys saying now? Lead the way, Carl. No, no, no. You, you, you're the new player in Solary. It's all I'm yours. The new player. Oh God. Well, thank you to all the uh, supporters. Uh, <laughs> no, it's amazing. Like to see everyone in chat, like when they support us, and to see how people sort of love our interactions that we have and sort of how chilled out we are. It's, it's a great pleasure to like see everyone that actually likes to watch us. So I'm really happy. And yeah, just thanks to everyone that actually wanted us to win. Yeah. And, and uh, cheers to the other guys that played in the finals. Cause honestly, everyone today really pulled it out of the bag and showed a real good performance. Well, best of luck, Carl and Pac. And thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you much guys. guys. See ya. Bye-bye.